everybody. Welcome to this week's The Filth. Good question. There's a ton of Less Than Jake songs to talk about, but if I were to pick one, it would be Johnny Quest Thinks for Sellouts. There'd be so much to talk about with that one, and uh, just be careful what you wish for. I may be on my own show soon talking about that song. First one that comes to mind is Rest of My Life. We've had fans that think that that's a love song that was written about their life to uh, a tragedy about their life, and uh, in turn, it, it was a tragedy. Our Vinny wrote that about his grandfather who passed away. There's a lot of references to New Jersey in there, where Vinny grew up and where his uh, grandfather uh, lived and uh, and passed away. So uh, I'd say say rest of my life is the one that has a you know a sad, tragic meaning behind it. But people take a, a number of uh, their own meanings uh, to what that song uh, is for them. Hey Lorraine, how are you? Good question. Uh, the process is really the same as it's always been. You know, I'll come in with an idea, a shell of a song, or, or Roger will, or sometimes it'll be a, a full song, and then we'll just start uh, bouncing lyrics around, and, and it's been, been a collaborative effort over the years, so it really you know, it hasn't changed for Silver Linings. The best ones? Let's see. The ones we don't remember. Hey George, need me to hook you up with a hearing aid? I know someone in the business. <laughs> in all seriousness, my, the best way for me to take in music, I like to just uh, get a playlist and, and hit my car and take a nice long, long drive, a uh, road trip. And uh, that seems to, to work the best for me to just kind of zone out, listen to the music, and, and try not to overly, you know, think about it uh, too much and just let it do what, it, what it's gonna do. Well, considering we don't exclusively stay at the Ritz-Carlton, we've had many horrific hotel stories. One that sticks out would have been around 1996, 97, Losing Streak Tour. We were in Ocean Beach, California, which is near San Diego, and, uh, we got in that morning and I remember walking over, I say morning, it was like three in the morning, walked over to a, a store next to the hotel to get something to drink. And the guy in there basically said to me, what are you doing in this neighborhood? And the hotel was a complete drug dive dump. So that's the one I'm going with. It was horrible. There was dust this thick on the ceiling fans. I remember they had pink carpet, if that's any uh, indication of how nasty it was. <laughs> <laughs> 